Hello, hello! Happy Friday, everybody! I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my sewing room. And if you are new to my channel, Friday Sews is a little bit of sewing, a little bit of life, a little bit of everything. And it's usually posted on Fridays. <laughs> this week, I don't know, life just got in the way. And I thought I was going to film, thought I was going to film, didn't film. And I'm like, well, Friday, I didn't film on Friday, I didn't film on Saturday. It's Sunday. And I thought, I have time. I'm going to film. So here I am. Happy, happy Friday. Not. <laughs> oh, so the reason I went ahead and just came in here and decided to talk to you is because I had stuff I wanted to share. And the time's going to just pass and then you won't get to hear and I wanted to share. So here I am. Uh, a little bit of sewing. A lot of sewing, actually. Uh, if you're not new to my channel, I will tell you that I designed my own pattern and I'm trying to put it together to release it uh, maybe on Etsy or somehow get this pattern out there and it's for my hoodie dress and I'm super excited because it didn't even seem like this would actually really ever come to a fruition and it is almost done. So I quickly made two new hoodie dresses for my marketing. This one is the long sleeve. It's cute. It's got a little bell sleeve. I just love it. And this one is the three quarter sleeve. And I will still have to take pictures of me in them to put on the pattern and uh, be able to show my short sleeve, my three quarter and my long sleeve. And it was like I almost nixed the sleeves and just left it all short. But I just love these too so much that I thought no they need to be on there and um, I also started thinking since it's for marketing I was going to use some of my favorite fabrics that I've purchased most recently and I thought I need to pick some fabrics that are different from me because I have a certain style of fabric that I like I like big bold prints bright colors and things like that and I don't I know when I'm looking at patterns sometimes I like the fabric enough to want to buy that pattern even though I'm, I can't even tell, do I love that dress or do I love that fabric? So I thought I better switch my fabrics up a little and have a little bit of something that's for everybody. And so I did this stripe, which is kind of a departure for colors for me, even though it has this favorite blue and black, of course. It's still a little different for me. I don't wear a lot of stripes. Also, I went with a solid and I thought I could make solid black, but I had this lovely navy that is super soft. I just, I. I actually think I'm going to love wearing this a lot. And it has um, this like French terry inside. I think that's what you call it. And it's just going to be a favorite. And I thought I would tell you why I don't make solids that much in tops and dresses. Because for some reason I always have food land right there. And it sort of just like ruins it. Telling the truth. Uh, so I'll wear a bib whenever I'm eating in this dress. I don't know. So these two are done. Where I'm at in the process is hubby is working on my graphics and I am so lucky because he actually knows what he's doing. Like he, before he went full-time photography many years ago, he used to do graphics for people's businesses. Like he'd make brochures and websites and logos and, you know, pamphlets and things like that. And so he knows how to lay graphics out and I... I'm so lucky because he's doing some amazing stuff to this pattern. It's going to look really good, you guys. <laughs> Me, it was just going to be a little paragraph and there's a picture. A little pa No, he's making it really artsy and cute and I'm so lucky. But it's taking time because he's also running his business and he doesn't have a lot of time to put towards this. But we're really close. Really close. So all I have left to do is take some pictures in these dresses for putting on the pattern. And then I wanna do one final dress, uh, sew along video, which I have not done yet. So that's coming. And I wanna say thank you. Thank you, thank you to all of you who just leave the greatest comments. It's really, really encouraging on this venture, which I never thought would actually happen. It's just like happening. It's really happening. Uh, but I have to stop all of that and work on an emergency sewing project. Do you ever have that emergency sewing? I feel like up until my kids grew up, all, all the sewing I did was emergency. Costumes, repairs, thing, all emergency. Now I'm doing what I want to do, but I have to stop and do an emergency. Christening gown. 
baptism gown, whatever you want to call it. The baby's getting baptized. My great granddaughter Vera is getting baptized and I asked her mom if I could make her gown. So no one asked me. I asked if I could and she said yes. So I'm like, uh oh, I have to do it now. But I wanted to do it. So I asked um, my granddaughter to go on Etsy and look at dresses and pick a few that she liked, the baptism gowns. And um, then I would get a feeling for her style. It was definitely going to be lace. And um, the one she really liked was $37 finished. I don't think I could even buy fabric for $37. <laughs> Wish I could have just bought that and sent it to her. Uh, but I'm down to the last minute, as always, and I wanted to make it. So it's like, it's not about money or you know how much it cost or whatever it's about i wanted to make it i wanted to be able to have them say my grandma made this or in this case my great grandma made this so this is what i'm going to be working on and i'm going to be using mccall's 6221 because there was i could only find three patterns in my joann's for a baptism gown or christening gown and um this was the closest one to the one my granddaughter liked i'm gonna do view c um it's just the least busy and she's very simple taste so this is the least busy with lace overlay the whole thing and there's a matching bonnet wish me luck on that i might just make her a head band but i am going to try to make the bonnet um I thought I could find some really cool patterns, like indie patterns, like on Etsy or Google. And no, I didn't find like hardly anything in the way of patterns for christening gowns. It must not be very um, asked for. So here's my fabrics that I've chosen. She definitely likes lace and I wanted it to be um, a flower because that was in her dress that she liked was a flower. And so this one has a little bit of a flower. Uh, it actually has, has the scalloped edge, which is in this pattern so I can take advantage of the scallops and um, that's something I'll have to figure out how to do but I'm sure they instruct you and I have these two choices I sort of bought them both because I didn't know for sure if I had my druthers I would pick this one it's not bright white so that's a negative but it is so soft and just so it's just so soft and I think about a newborn baby it should be soft right so I want to use this one and I think it looks good with the lace. Let me hold that up. Even though it's not bright white, it still really looks good. So that's my first choice. But I also bought this because this seems more natural for what it should be. And, um, excuse the animal hairs. We've got cats and dogs. So it wanted lightweight satin. F-A-I-L-L-E. Another fabric I don't know. F-A-I-L-L-E, I'll have to look that up, linen or broadcloth. Um, handkerchief linen, batiste, also damask, and some chiffon for the overlay, organza or, or dotted Swiss. Um, so this is what I got. This one is also very soft, but it's just a little more structured. So if I need that to make this work, I think these sleeves are straight lace. No, they're, I can't tell. In the, um, in the, in the inspiration picture, I think the sleeves are just lace, I don't know. So I'm gonna play around with this, but I have to do it quickly because I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. But I can do this, I can do this. I've made lots of dresses. The Halloween costumes aren't that different. It's not that they are all pretty much, one princess dress is like another. They're all pretty similar once you start putting them together. So this is next up and I want to go deliver this in person and hug the baby, hold the baby and want to get baptized. So that's pretty cool and I'm excited about that. So um, I'm not for sure that we're going, but it's less than two weeks. You guys, does that make me, does that make you nervous for me? less than two weeks and uh yeah we're gonna go it's hard it's hard it's a long drive and i was just there when she um had her shower so before the baby and so it hasn't been that long and i was down there and i went and i drove down with my granddaughter and came back by myself and that long drive by myself is so hard it's long 
it's like between eight and ten hours depending on how many times I stop and when I'm by myself I stop a lot because you just need to get out of that car so uh, as it stands hubby's going with me and if he has to not go because of business uh, then I don't know if I want to go so I'm thinking about it but if he goes it is a yes because he'll do the he'll do the bulk of the driving I mean we'll take turns so that's where I'm at sewing wise. Oh, I should tell you, I'm wearing my follow me wrap dress with these cute little sleeves. I just love this dress and haven't worn it yet this year. I made it la last year. I think I made it last year and uh, it's it's a great pattern. I made it twice. Yeah, two times. And I would have, I could, I could have five of these. I just love this dress. It's flattering. It feels flirty and fun, but it's also modest enough to wear to church. And um, I wanted to wear red, white, and blue, or any one of those, because it's 4th of July weekend here in America. If you're in America, you know we got to wear the red, white, and blue. It was cool at church seeing all the people in there, red, white, or blue, or all. And um, so I picked this. And it's also got that kind of handkerchief print, which is also very 4th of July, very patriotic. And um, so that's why I'm wearing it. And... Are you going to fireworks? If you're in America, are you going to fireworks? I love fireworks. Love them. And I'm very blessed to have a friend who has her backyard facing. Um, she's up on a hill and it faces our little our little town. And down there is where they do the fireworks. And so we get to come and um, a bunch of us little have a little party. And it's funny because every house on that block is having a 4th of July party at the same exact time. It's really cool. And we get to just have a little bit of potluck barbecue and then as soon as it gets dark they start showing the fireworks and we've got like it's not it's like it's like it's down so we're not like looking up at them and we're not looking down at them we're just looking straight at them so lucky so lucky and all my favorite friends will be there um you know I don't have any unfavorite friends <laughs> but that's for that so it's all of us in our we're all in the same kind of age group and um so that's going to be fun. No kids is what I'm trying to say. And then um, tomorrow I'll be doing the barbecue with my daughter's family. So it'll be kids everywhere, which is also another blessing. It's fun to watch all these kids play. They're just so cute. So cute. My grandkids and all their friends. So it's a very blessed weekend and very happy about it. And um, it's funny because the last song we sang in church today was Oh Beautiful. And I just remember thinking there was a time probably everybody say over 50 that everybody in America knew that song we all learned it in school and we all knew it and I'm kind of asking myself does do they still teach that I mean things change right and so you know you always assume everyone's learning the same exact thing you learned and that's not always true so uh, it was really fun to just sing a song that we all knew and it takes you back you know to your childhood and so many fun things. I have so many fun memories of 4th of July, you know, like, um, I remember my dad always bought fireworks and we lived on a street with a bunch of houses and all the dads bought fireworks and they would set them out on the sidewalk and line them up and show their loot, you know, and it was like all the dads were kind of puffed up looking at each other's and it was like a little bit of a competition to see which dad had the best fireworks. And, uh, we always had sparklers. Oh, we would just run around waving these sparklers and you know it was in a time period when we weren't all that concerned with safety. <laughs> Things happen. Okay safety. I'm going to tell you one fourth of July story that is kind of hilarious because when they do these fireworks we were at a place it was a big um, venue event place that has concerts and stuff and they put on a big fireworks show they still do it every year and we went and we um, I think we had my uh, son was my youngest was a teenager and the others were out of the house so it was just the three of us and we we were late <laughs> it happens so we got our blanket and our little chairs and we set them in the very back we thought and I thought good because I've been up close in front to the fireworks before and those sparks they really do fall on you so that happened actually one time so uh, I was happy to be in the back what can I say and so they did a lot of patriotic music and stuff like that and then they said okay it's time for the fireworks show everybody turn around <gasps> 
We went from being in the back row to being in the front row, and I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It was like, sparks are going to fall on us. It didn't, but uh, it could have. We did have that happen one year. We, they were just falling and burning the blanket. And I was worried for my kids. <sighs> you don't have to be up close. It's fireworks. It's way up there. You can be as far, far away as you want. So I'm really looking forward to this and I hope you are having a very fun weekend wherever you are. And for those of you in America, happy 4th of July. And I think it's Canada has Canada Day. So happy Canada Day. I hope I got that right. Excuse me if I didn't. But wherever you are, I hope you're having a fun weekend. And I want to um, thank you for uh, showing up even though my Friday Sews is belated. It's late. And I thank you for that support just showing up. And I'm just so happy to have this conversation with you. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe and thumbs up. And let's have some comments and we'll visit in the comment section. And um, I just really enjoy that so much. And I want to thank you for stopping by. And I will see you next time. Bye now.